Coco is the latest animated movie from Disney Pixar and stars Anthony Gonzalez, Gail Garcia Bernal, Benjamin Bratt and Alana Ubach. The movie is about a 12 year old Mexican boy played by Gonzalez whose family does not allow music but that has not stopped Miguel from loving particularly a long since past musician by the name of Ernesto de la Cruz. He watches old videotapes of his films and tries to replicate the way that he would play a guitar so Miguel really wants to express his musical side and when he tries to play de la Cruz's guitar he is mysterious transported to the land of the dead just in time for Dia de Muertos. This film is about exploring Mexican mythology and Mexican ideas and and Mexican people and what the Day of the Dead really means to those people and the, the amounts of weird strange things that are out there behind this day. It's fascinating. I don't know how much of it is true because I'm not an expert on this, but I can really feel watching this movie that so much love and passion and dedication to exploring the truth about Miguel as our protagonist really lets us see what this all really means to these people. He tries to reject his family, but that message of your family is the most important thing really comes to play. And I guess that's what is very important for a lot of Mexican people out there. You watch this film and it's so perfectly animated. As soon as Miguel comes into the land of the dead, it's just filled with so much insane stuff. There's multicolored animals that are also hybrids of other animals. There's like a giant ma cat with wings. I don't know what that's meant to be, but it's also neon colored for some reason. There's dogs with wings that are meant to be spirit animals. Everything has all these skulls everywhere. There's a lot of skulls. It's actually quite fun to watch this movie and pick out how many skulls are in each individual frame. There's music everywhere. There's just so much love and life filling this movie. That's also thanks to the characters. They're really quite entertaining, but also really kind of heartwarming and at times heartbreaking. There's also a small role for Frida Kahlo in The Land of the Dead. She's voiced by Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. actress Natalia Cordova Buckley and she is hilarious. In the scenes that she has, there's only like two or three, she steals it for me. I was laughing probably the most at her character. Besides the perfect animation and the really enjoyable characters, there are some scenes in this movie that really made me feel like this is what Pixar does best. They like to just pull their hands into your chest, take your heart and squeeze every emotion out of it. There's a particular scene towards the end of this movie that just really, really spoke to me. It's about a boy loving his great grandmother and trying to do right by her. This movie is about familial love and that is quite beautiful at times. Coco is flawed, however, because the story is incredibly predictable. It's really really fast paced which can make you feel like they're rushing it at times it really doesn't let you breathe you can't really get a good grasp on what it's trying to tell you until it hits that third act point and there's a couple of twists and turns which don't really make a lot of sense or you see them coming a mile away and when they happen you just think okay i see where we're going with this yeah coco is not the best pixar movie out there but Thankfully, it is one of their strongest in the last couple of years. I'm happy to say that I enjoyed Coco. I can see myself watching this movie again. And I'm thankful that Pixar can still give us that. They can still give us that perfect animation, lovely characters, and truly emotionally crushing scenes. And in that way, I'd have to say that Coco is worth the ticket and the DVD. So Coco, have you seen it? Please tell me what you think about it in the comments below. There are going to be videos linked down here or one over there. For more Mr. Movies, please press my little face right there. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.